Did you guys seriously think we were done with the PlayStation Classic? Oh, heck no. There's still so much more to do with this thing. And today we're going to be taking a look at what I think is quite possibly the best build ever. 260 PlayStation games, just PlayStation games, nothing else. That's what I like about this thing. We've looked at, you know, retro arc builds, retro boot builds, and that stuff is pretty cool. But PlayStation Classic, I want to play me some PlayStation games. And that's what we're doing today. This thing, 260 games, 128 gigabyte build. Holy wow. So we're going to go through, take a look at the games. We don't need to talk about options, all that stuff. You know, we've covered that quite a bit in the past. Today's just about the games. But I'm also hearing grumblings. And this could be exciting news. Don't know for sure yet if it's going to happen, but we may hear pretty soon if it works out. We may be getting OTG support. Can't confirm it, but it sounds like it may happen. The cool thing with that is if it comes to fruition, plug that bad boy into the back of your PlayStation Classic. It's just a little, you know, little OTG adapter. Uh, it just has like a pass through for the mini USB and then an actual USB port on it. Plug that in, plug your power into it, and then plug in your USB drive. Now you have both first and second player ports for your controllers available. If that happens, holy crap, this thing's going to be amazing. We'll have to wait and see with AutoBleam, but let's just get into these games here. So we do have a couple options to play our PlayStation games. We can just go straight into AutoBleam, use the Evolution UI or the Classic UI, or for those of you who like a ton of options, we can go into RetroArch. So we're going to take a look at that real quick. Just hit square, boot you into RetroArch. And the nice thing with this, okay, yeah, we don't have all the retro consoles, no Super Nintendo Genesis. This is just all PlayStation goodness. That's what this build is about. But you go to PlayStation down here and all your games are listed. I think this is pretty cool. We have our box art. Multi-disc games are listed individually for the discs. And it's just a nice way to play if this is how you want to do it because you have bezels, you have different options you can mess with within here. It's just a personal preference type of thing. Me, I prefer just going into Evolution UI. So if you jump into this and you want to go to that to test it out, you just go back to the main menu here and go to quit RetroArt. Hit X and you're out. Reboots into the main screen here. Then we can go ahead and press start to get into Auto Bleam. So... I, I like this theme. There's a bunch of themes on here. We're not going to look at all that. This is about the games. So 260 games on this thing. We have the 20 included games as well. That's normally on the PlayStation Classic. You guys know that's an option. But holy crap, like every genre is covered here. I'm going to scroll through, not name everything, but you're going to see crazy stuff like Japanese translated role-playing games. Japanese shooters, games that we were never given access to are on this thing. There's tons of games I've never even heard of and have been told, like, hey, you got to check this out. So going through this list, man, to me, this is the ultimate collection of PlayStation games. Would I make a few tweaks? Possibly, just to get a couple games that I would want on here. But for the majority of this, I, I've only seen maybe five to ten games that I would remove and swap with something else. But that's the cool thing. It's real easy to do all that. We've talked about that in the past. So we got all these, what are these, the arcade greatest hits from Atari and Midway. Those are pretty cool. Asuncia, strategic fantasy role-playing game. Never heard of that one. Battle Arena, Toshinden, Beyond the Beyond. Bunch of fighting games. Like I said, every genre is covered. Breath of Fire 3, one of my all-time favorites. It's on here. What? Bubble Bobble featuring... Rainbow Islands, Burning Road, the Bushido Blade games, Bust a Move 2, Contra Adventure. This is cool right here. Capcom Generations. These weren't released in the U.S. And all three of the collections are on here. This is pretty cool for all the arcade goodness type of stuff. Glad to see that. I'm definitely going to check those out. Capcom vs. SNK. Castlevania Chronicles. You might be like, Where, where's Symphony of the Night? We're going to get to that in a second. Let's keep it moving here. What is this? Chipoke Ralph no Dabukin? Oh, the adventure of little Ralph. Nice. Chocobo Racing. Love it. Koro Q2 and 3. Chrono Cross, Circuit Breakers, Clock Tower, The First Fear. What? Oh, my God. <laughs> Another Contra, Legacy of War. Cotton 100%. Yes. All the Crash games, of course. The Croc games. 
Cyberbots, Full Metal Madness, Darius Gaiden, Darkstalkers, Darkstalkers 2, Dead or Alive. Oh my God, this the list goes on and on. We're going to check out gameplay and a couple things here, uh, but I just want to get through this list first. Detana Twinbee, Diablo's on here. That's kind of fun to play on the PlayStation. Dodon Pachi, Dodon Pachi, I can never say that. Don Pachi, what? Dracula X, Nocturne, and the Moonlight. So this is our Castlevania Symphony of the Night. This is the, the retranslated, updated version of the Japanese edition in English. I think it's really cool to see that on here. So huge bonus. That's what I'm talking about. Dragon Seeds, Dragon Warrior 7, another one of my top favorites. Echo Knight 2, not familiar with that one. Bunch of wrestling games I saw in here as well, and I know a lot of people dug those. Uh, Fantastic Night's Dream Cotton Original, Fatal Fury Wild Ambition, some of the Final Fantasies, the, the 3D Final Fantasies, you know, the 3D graphics Final Fantasies that were released on the PlayStation. So you got the 7, 8, and 9, Formula 1, Front Mission History, G. Darius, wow. What is this? Genso Suko Gaiden? Holy crap, text adventure. Like I said, all the, the stuff that's Japanese, um, that it'll be translated if it's like a role-playing game and stuff like that. There's no like stuff you can't play on here. Uh, Parodius, this is pretty cool. A Gradius Deluxe Pack, Gaiden, Gran Turismo, Grand Theft Auto Mission Pack 1, London 1969. Yes, we've got that on here and it runs. Heck yeah, all the Grand Theft Autos for the PlayStation 1 anyway. Gunbar, The Game Paradise, Hermie Hopperhead, this one, Harmful Park, this game is fun, highly recommend it. We beat this game on a stream like a couple years ago, I think it was, maybe a year and a half ago. I thoroughly enjoyed this game. I think we played it on one of my PlayStation, uh, you know, only builds for the Raspberry Pi, for Retro Pi. That game is amazeballs, definitely check it out. Uh, what else do we got here? Image Flight, Intelligent Cube, Internal Section, not familiar with that. The Jet Motos, uh, Parodius Forever With Me. The Parodius games are freaking exciting. Jumping Flash, The Knight, The Kingsfields games, Konami Arcade Classics. Cool to see that stuff on here. You get your retro goodness through the, the little arcade packs. Legend of Lagaya, Legend of Mana, Looney Tunes Racing. Why not? Lucifer Ring, both of the Lunar games, awesome stuff. Man, all the Capcom fighters, Marvel superheroes, Marvel vs. Uh, Street Fighter, Marvel vs. Capcom, Mega Man, Mega Man Battle and Chase, Legends, Legends 2, X4, X5, and X6. What? Your Mega Man gaming goodness is covered. Metaphilist? Metaphilist? Whatever. It's on here. The, this dude, Yannick, he like hand-selected a ton of awesomeness for this, man. Definitely worth checking out. Join my Facebook group. You guys know what's up. Come on now. I always get comments. You guys know what's up? Join the Facebook group. Mortal Kombat Trilogy. The Namco Collection. Love that. NASCAR Rumble. The NBA Jams. Need for Speeds. Niketsu Oyako. This is one. We're going to play this in a minute um, after we go through this list. I, I was recommended to check this one out. I remember that name for sure. He recommended like a handful of games to check out. Don't remember all of them, but I remember that one for sure. <laughs> but we'll check that one out. Ninja, Hayate, Oddworld, Pandemonium. Pandemonium games are fun. The Parasite Eves, Pepsi Man, the fixed Pepsi Man, the music plays. Persona 2, Project Gare, Gare, Ray, Poo Le Rula, Arcade Gears, what? All the, the, the racing games, R-Types, Rampage, all the Rampages, what? Rapid Racer, Rapid Reload, that was the other one he recommended checking out too. Ray Crisis, Rayman, the list goes on and on. The Ridge, the rest of the Ridge Racers, Road Blaster, you get some FMV games on here, Time Gal I know is on here, Roll Cage, Salamander Deluxe, what, Life Force, right? What? That's pretty dope. Samurai Showdown, Warriors Rage, Samurai Showdown 3. This is one I would probably remove because my personal feelings on it is Samurai Showdown 3 is the worst Samurai Showdown game out of the main five for the Neo Geo. 
in my opinion. Sexy Parodius, another one of those Parodius games. We streamed this as well a long while ago. That game was fun. I know we completed it. Awesome game. Sidewinder, Silent Hill, Simple Characters, Gotcha Man. Gotcha Man, yes. Skull Monkey, Sonic Wing Special, Soul Blade, the Spider-Mans, all the Spyros, of course. Starblade Alpha, all the Street Fighters. I really like the uh, the Street Fighter EX uh, plus Alpha. Both of these are pretty fun. Dug those games, played the crap out of them when they came out. Strider, Strider 2, Super Robot Shooting, Alpha Gaiden, Siphon Filter, the Tails games, Tekken, Tekken 2, Tekken 3, Tenchu, Test Drive. Man, so much good stuff. All these test drives. So a little bit for everyone, man. Simpsons Wrestling. We got that Thrill Kill up on there. Thunderstorm, Time Gal, told you it was on here. Tobal, number two and one. Those are awesome games. Excited to see them on here. Toka, all the Tomb Raiders, Tomba 1 and 2. Tomba 2 is back on here. All the Tony Hawks, all the Twisted Metals. Like I said, Small Brawl's a must. Got to play it. What else do we got? Two Tenkaku, all the uh, WCW, WWF games, Wild Arms, Wild Arms 2, the Wipeouts. Wonder 3 Arcade Gears, nice. All the WWF stuff, X-Men, X2, Xenogears, and we're back to the beginning. So let's let's check out a couple of these games real quick and see how things look. Just to give you a taste of some of this craziness on here. Gotta find the ones that he recommended that I test, that I check out, which I'm gonna check out a bunch of stuff on here, but we got to find some goodness right now. Where was it? Rapid, uh... What the heck was it called? Rapid... Rapid Reload. Let's, let's check Rapid Reload out. See what that's about. Come on. We get it, man. Sony Computer Entertainment Europe, all right. Like I said, we got these imports on here, man. All right, let's just let's just jump into it. Re really would be interested to see the intro screen, but I just want I want to see some gameplay. I want to see the game played. Let's check it out. Oh, okay. Oh, you know what? I think somebody brought this game up to me before and I looked it up. Uh, it's like Gunstar Heroes. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is this is definitely pretty cool. It's like uh, Metal Slug, Gunstar Heroes. Got a little bit of everything going. Whoa. Wow, that is cool. What else can I do? Got a super move. Bam. Is this a homing laser? That is awesome. That is definitely cool. Let's go ahead and uh, exit out of there. Check out a different game, right? And then we do have those slots. We got four slots we could choose from. Bam. And then we can go down there, select our slot if we want to get back into it. What was the other game? It started with an N. Naketsu Oyako. Let's check that one out. So far, I'm, I'm excited to see these games I've never played before. Different imports, different genres, a little bit of everything, man. Like I said these these builds are cool because you could tweak them to your to the way you want. But a lot of people just they'll see the list and just be like, you know what? That's cool, man. I want to I want to play a bunch of these games. What the heck is this? What is this? Is this the one he recommended? I don't know now. I might be out of my mind, but we're going to test it out. Huh. It's like a beat em up. I swear I saw something that said pinball. I was like, what? It's like, are we playing a pinball game? Mega Tokyo 2064. Okay. Okay. The heck does she got? Like a little hammer? Oh, special move. Oops. My bad. Her eyes like went black. 
Hey, get your ass up. Bam! Busting him in the shin. Wow. This is interesting. Always down for a new beat em up I've never played. Get it. Milk. Healing. Is that a PlayStation on the ground? The hell is that? Like a dildo nosed Mario looking dude? The heck? Let's get him too. Why not? Oh, I didn't see what the name was. Is that? We got a gun now? Interesting. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but I did it. Screw it. This is uh, this is pretty cool. We got a, got a little shank here. This is this is an interesting game. I could see playing this. Hopefully, the enemies start to get a little varied. But you you know, man, I always always rag on that with these uh, beat 'em ups. So far, it's it's looking nice though. We're getting a little variety. Not too, you know, it's not crazy, crazy with the reskins. I mean, it kind of is, but, you know, that's how all these beat-em-ups were. Two-player, press start. Two, you can play this two players, man. Van Damme. The dude's name is Van Damme. Damn it. Okay. Let's bust that wall open. Always your beat em up. You gotta have something where you bust open the next level. Typically fairly early on in the game. Whoa, what the hell? <laughs> what the? Got PlayStations in there. Bears or dog. I don't know what the hell those were. The backgrounds are a little, uh, a little bland. You know, you got people back there smoking a cigarette or something. Some chick in the alley. I don't know what she's waiting for, but no animations going on in the background, but it's still pretty nice. Look at this. There's a lot of collectibles here. The dude's jumping through the windows. That's pretty cool. Some more reskins. That's all right. Screw it. You know what I'm saying? Let's just enjoy it for what it is. Bam. Okay. Okay, let me hit reset. Earlier I hit, what, select and triangle. That's one way to do it. We can go ahead and save our slot. But there you go. Some interesting games. Pretty damn crazy. I'm excited to mess with this. Like I said, I'll probably remove mm, five to ten games to add stuff that, that's missing for me. But so far, this is, this is where it's at for me. I do have my 64 gigabyte drive somewhere. I think it's over there somewhere. I don't know with the uh, retro boot build. So that's good for me to play like the retro old school games and then have this build just for PlayStation games. Get the most out of it. Pretty awesome stuff. So hey, really do appreciate you guys hanging out with me. It means the world. We're on our way to 100,000 subscribers. We'll be there one day. Help a brother out. Help a dude out. Share my channel. Like my video. Comment. Do all that good stuff. And I will catch y'all next time. Peace out, bye-byes, and boom. Bye!